Hello, welcome back to another episode of Modded Kerbal Space Program, where it's kind of dark here at the Space Center. I think the sun is coming up. I'm not sure. Um, right, so we've got roughly a plan after our experimental attempts with uh, some of the colony module stuff. Bobby's going to head to Mimis to get a little bit more science. He's a little bit behind with uh, one or two pieces of science that I have more than he does. Um, while he's doing that, I am going to start to launch our first space station, essentially, that we're going to be working on for probably the next couple of episodes off and on. Um, this is also going to be the first in the series of episodes where we'll be recording a bit differently. So, uh, intros and outros will probably, for the next three ish will probably be uh, edited in after the fact because um we're gonna record straight through and i'm gonna edit uh stuff as we go so are you uh, ready to go to minmus bobby i'm ready to go to minmus i am uh, i gotta build a ship to figure out how we're gonna get some of this stuff up there <laughs> let's see here i am thinking of a slightly different lander design but I really kind of don't have the parts unlocked for it, so to yeah. say. Yes, and I pretty much just used my uh, the ship that I took to the the moon, and I'm not even sure I added any more Delta V onto it because I had so much excess in the first place. Uh, I got seventy three hundred Delta V. That should that's that's probably plenty. I would think so. All right, so I am designing, we're starting at the top here, and I'm designing this in a way that will hopefully work out well for us. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm okay, going to need a heat shield. Oh, uh, where's that at? Heat shield? No, uh, you're too small. I have, shield. Ah, uh, you know what? I have. Uh, what? <laughs> I have never done this design before. So, no better place to test this out than the stream. Well, and eh, we'll get rid of it. Let's see here. So here's here's what I'm gonna do. I saw this. I don't remember where exactly I saw this design, but you will see it. My dog has decided. I, I hope you can't hear that. My dog. Oh, I decided, most certainly can. Oh, you most certainly can. Okay. My dog is taking this time to uh, to to eat. It's like, oh, we're about to stream. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, paw up my food bowl for a while. See how see how that sounds on audio, huh? What does everyone <laughs> think about that? Well, I think I've just discovered. Uh oh. That we can't do this yet. <laughs> we can't. I thought we had like at least like the primary bay or like the primary operational bay, right? I'm not finding docking ports. No, there's that. Uh, there's the 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 vanilla. We don't have the vanilla docking ports unlocked, but we have the the other docking ports unlocked. I think. Uh, uh -huh. um, like like th there's uh, you know OKS docking ports. No, there's just those flexo tube things, but those aren't for orbital stuff. Oh, yeah, there are OKS docking ports here. Um, I couldn't figure. Okay, so I when I was streaming last week. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I didn't stream last week. The week before, I think. Um, I I was playing this in um, sandbox mode, trying to figure out how some of this stuff worked. And I could not figure out how the OKS docking ports worked. The, the yeah the these uh what are what are they called? There it's a curb trail docking yeah. port. Yeah, uh, I couldn't figure out how they work. Like they didn't work in the way that I thought they should work. Maybe I should oh, see yeah. if I can 
figure out how these work because they don't work in the way that I thought they did. They don't work like regular docking ports. That's for sure. So I'm just going to I'm going to make a thing, a weird little thing here in um the space plane hanger with some wheels on it and some RCS and then put those docking ports on them and try to dock on the mm. runway. <laughs> There you go. That's that, that that that's a good way to test. Testing things here live on the stream. Yeah, I just like I have no idea how these things work because they weren't working in a normal fashion. Mm -hmm. Like I, I honestly came up with this design or this design kind of struck in my head like while I was driving here. So this may be completely poorly conceived, and I am more than willing to admit that. Uh, come on. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be poorly conceived. Oh no, it's probably entirely poorly conceived. But we'll see. This is this. I I I think this should help my toppling problem. We will find out though. Where are Mm -hmm. Where are those like directional? Not that I don't have these engines unlocked. This is going to be a very. <laughs> those, those, those aren't under command and control. No, no, these are regular. Engines. What are you looking for? I'm looking for like the re not not the, like the. Like there's like these like smaller radial mount engines, not like the big white ones. Well, maybe we'll wind up having. Probably don't have them unlocked yet because I don't have them unlocked. Uh, what do we got here? Utility high powered solid. You no, know, we don't want a solid fuel rocket. That, whatever that is, it just looks cool. It looks big. Globe, uh, the Globe X, <laughs> or the the Globe X five Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay, slate. Small change of plans then. Ah, uh, how? What about? Are there? Are there, I probably don't have the RCS engines unlocked either. Probably not. Damn. <laughs> why? Why does it feel like that we that like? You seem to have a whole heck of a lot of stuff unlocked, but not like anything. I, I, sh I should. No, I wouldn't be. Ah, I'm going to have to use RCS. I mean, there's not anything wrong with using RCS. Uh. I think I can actually put this in symmetry mode and it will work. It's probably going to have to put a lot more on there. Okay, so I'm just going to drive this thing off the runway now that I've managed to figure out which RCS buttons move me in which direction here. Mm. guys take the symmetry mode off and move this guy down a little bit and this guy actually while we're at it we will move this guy all the way forward i'm sure there's some sort of physics reason to do that i just can't bs a particular <laughs> reason why stability we'll call it stability yeah stability stability sounds good Okay, let's apply our brakes, and then we will go back to the Space Center and do this again. All right, so I've got those there. I am going. The addition of RCS makes this slightly more complicated, but we will get over it. Where are those radial-mounted RCS tanks? You know what my motto is in Kerbal? Well, in most things. 
<laughs> oh, in most things? What's that? Don't fix what isn't broken. <laughs> uh, I make a living doing that. <laughs> uh, well, no, from, from, from my, you know, well, from my previous Mun landing, uh, you'll notice that, uh, that it was quite broken. Here we are. It was only broken because of incompetence. Exactly. <laughs> Your design wasn't broken. <laughs> no, but Your I Your design that... was basically my design. <laughs> Mostly. Um, Ow, hold off. Are I'm... you trying to make an RCS lander? Because that seems dangerous. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, you'll, you'll see. Like I okay. said... I'm, okay, I'm fully, I just I, don't want you to get out there and smash into mid miss again and rage quit on me. I'm not going to rage quit, because at this point in time, I have fully resigned to the fact that this may fail miserably. I am fully willing to resign to that fact, and I'm going to hurry... I'm going to hurry the ass up so I can at least get into space in this episode. <laughs> I will inset those... Um, ah, you know what will be great over here on this structural girder? Solar panels. Oh, and, well, okay, I have that. And I'm like, oh, and science. What do I have here? This is the, is the, this, does the soil sample dealy? Did we determine if that actually generates science? Um, I thought you did, but I haven't it, used it, it. No, it did, it did. It did generate science. Or... Or do I not want to do that? Do I not? Do I want to abandon RCS? You know what? No, I am. I'm abandoning RCS. <laughs> I'm abandoning RCS, and I'm going to try. We, we where did those radial mount in? Where did these radial mount engines go? Right here. So, ah, these. Ah, now the question is. Ah, first of all, we have to. Get them going the right direction. Okay, so I figured out how these docking ports work. Oh, good. They work an awful lot like those tubes. Oh, so not well? <laughs> uh, I mean, they work well, but I wouldn't want to use them on an orbiting space station. Uh, so, I, I'm going to guess I, I'm uh, not going to work on this yet. Because <laughs> kind of need some docking ports. Um, All right. Like I said, we're, we're doing this as, as... As I keep telling myself, we're doing this completely experimental. So, I'm going to put one here. And then another one. I have to rotate... This, this guy. Or... Let's see. Where are docking ports? I would have thought they would have been under specialized construction. Oh, wait, no. There is a docking port. I do have docking ports. What the... Where the heck are those? Well, there's the shielded one, uh, and, and and there's the regular one. Okay, so I had docking ports all along. Nice. Smart. All right. Okay, so let's get back to building this this thing. Um, I think that's no, actually this guy could go down. Okay, so we need this. It's gonna go there. And then we need the Colony Control Center. Which is going to be the hard part, I guess. Um, I guess we'll take two sections up right now. Um, now, part of me is already saying we need four of these. Because the physicist in me who has long since been starved to death, is saying you need two of these. <laughs> or you need four of these. 
because that, that, that's just going to create a rotation point. That is just going to create a rotation point. We don't want a rotation point like that. But man, these engines are fracking huge. But when you put... Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got a colony control command center, whatever thing. Um, what is this thing? Colony converter? Yeah, we, yeah, we know we Herbitat. need at least... I don't, I don't know. We're going to put all these parts on here eventually. I'm just trying to prioritize what mm. we take up first. Trying to grab all these ones that are fairly similar in size. Alright, so like I said, when it's time to crap or get off the proverbial pot here. So we're going to recess you... He says you as best we can. Is that? All right, then we're going to take another radial engine. I know it probably sounds like to Dan I'm using like a thousand of them because I keep saying and another radial engine, but I've <laughs> pulled a lot off also because I can't decide what to do with my radial engines. So... I really don't want them on that part of the ship. Where is... Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to start at the big, the front here and work our way back. So we're going to start with the command center and uh, an aeroponics module. And then we're going to need some solar panels on these guys i wish we had the gigantor whatever they're called ones the giant ones mm -hmm. but we don't so we're gonna start with what we've got and um i guess we're gonna i'm gonna use the one by six ones i think We're going to put a bunch on here because I think these things are pretty power hungry. Um, I mean, eventually we'll be able to probably put some sort of like reactor or something. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know where those get their fuel from, so we're just going to put solar panels on. We can always not deploy them if we... Uh, yeah you know don't need them but i think we'll start with this um and this will be our 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 building point here um well we should probably put rcs on the whole thing uh and a probe um okay so if we're gonna do rcs we're gonna need a rcs RCS tank. I wish we had the next size up of RCS tank unlocked. All right, so we're going to take the Gravomatic Dealy, recess that into the uh, Science Junior a little bit here. And then here, uh, we are going to take our. I dig through and find the solar panels amongst all this crap. And, oh, something we can actually use symmetry mode for. Solar panel. Solar panel. And then... What were the radiators... What are the radiators technically used for again? They're like half... Um, so part of... Um, part of uh, uh, Interstellar is a uh, waste heat is waste heat so um okay it's not gonna matter so much on some of these basic ships but when you get like a lot of solar panels and that kind of stuff you're gonna need radiators um to combat the waste heat okay now of course here is the next problem is this too tall oh and i think it might be
Okay, so this is the first piece that we're going to take up. Um, it's probably going to fly a little bit weird. Yeah. But hopefully it'll be all right. Now we just need to... Um, now we need to build the ship to actually take this whole thing up, I guess. Um, so, we need to go to structural, and we need to find some decouplers. Why? Sy symmetry mode. Uh, I think, yeah, I am just slightly too tall for the fairing. Which I thought might be a problem, so we're going to take, we don't, these batteries are technically, we put one battery here just for safekeeping. These solar panels, we will put here. And we'll call that, yeah, those two solar panels there should be. Okay, so we're going to do something like that, I guess, and then... No, oh, that's right. <laughs> we will put a poodle engine, if I can find it. There it is. Right on the bottom there. All right, and then... Um, oh, actually, I'm thinking... We might want to, now that I'm thinking about this, we might want some reaction wheels if I have any of the big ones unlocked. Why does this keep going out of flipping symmetry mode? Do I have any of the big reaction wheels unlocked? Um... I'm looking under the wrong place, I think. No, I don't. I only have small ones. Um, yeah, and we're not going to use those. Okay, so we're going to go with that, I guess, and then we're going to need another decoupler. Right there. And then from there, we're going to go with our... the main design we've been using, which is the tri-coupler thingy. If I can find it, there it is. Scaled up like so. And then we're going to attach these guys. And I'm not sure how much we're going to need, honestly. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Should be a lot easier to get this where we want it now that we have mainsails. All right, so now we need some struts. What's wrong? Nothing. I keep clicking on the wrong things, trying to grab these flipping fairings. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see here. Rotate you around. Please go into symmetry mode form. Like, what? 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 It's it's like no, I don't want to go into symmetry mode, and it's it's just being completely crazy right now. Yeah, the the um the fairings are a giant. Yeah, the yeah. fairings are pretty terrible. Um, but we may one. add procedural fairings. Follower. At some <laughs> point. Yeah, well, I thought about adding it and then well, originally, but I was just like, we were have I was having so many problems getting the mods we had to work. True. All work. That uh, 
adding another one seemed like maybe not the best idea in the world. Mm-hmm. I have no idea how this thing is going to fly. Um, let's save, and then let's check our crew, because we really don't want a full crew. We just want a pilot. And we're going to take Albert, and I'm going to click Launch, and this will be a test run, I guess, because I have no idea if this is going to work or not, because I didn't use fairings. Because it would have been gigantic with fairings. It's mostly kind of aerodynamic. Okay, SAS on. We're going to throttle up like the whole way. Um, should probably check the staging. Yeah, staging's fine. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's throttle back down a little bit. Right about there is probably all right. And away we go. You still building your ship? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm adding. I'm almost done. I am adding the uh, the struts to the thing inside the capsule. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping we can stick. Of course not. Screw struts. <laughs> All right. So I am saving the 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 Vogon two because I who need I don't have time to make up another original name right now, or at least one loosely based off of science fiction. Oh, there is a random like fairing piece floating around in space. Come on, there we go. Just you, and just in case you were saved. All right. Ah, oh, that. I just realized those, well, no, they're not angled slightly different. They're just deeper. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Let's I, not make loud clapping noises again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was punished because my game just crashed. Sounds about right. Yes. This is a nice way for doing that other, like, uh, editing style. Because, you know, now, especially when we both crash at the same time. I may have gone a little high, so we're probably going to have, like, the 250,000, roughly. Unless ah. I bring it back down. That's fine by me. All right, I am, uh... You are somehow a minute in the past when I logged in. That's weird. Yeah. All right. So... Not for long. All right, let's load up the Vogon 2. And hopefully we won't crash again when we try launching this. Ins it's not, let's see, actually, what's my, I added, yeah, I'm glad I checked that. I added a lot of weight to this. Uh, well, mainly because before I was just, we were just flying a satellite. Right. So I have now have a total Delta V of 5,300. So that's not gonna get you to mid miss. No, no. Uh, so let's do this. We got that. Um, fuel tanks. Where's the? That's. I don't want to use that one. Here is ah, here we go. I'm gonna use this guy. No, apparently that's a. Where is like the standard diameter fuel tanks? Is that? Okay, we just gotta get up here to our apoapsis, which will take just a moment. I don't want to get. I don't want to use the, the fast-forward thing, because I don't want to miss at all. Um, so we're going to fast-forward manually here a little bit. 
That is a cool little fuel tank. To maybe like here. Okay. Let's get our RCS on. Because this thing is not going to move, really. Didn't need the fairings with this design, so that's good. That'll make life a lot easier launching these parts. That is an interesting little design. Okay. I, you know, I guess you would mount the engines grade. underneath that. Let's, uh... And let's throttle up. We're pretty much at our apoapsis here. All right, now we just need to bring our periapsis up. And we have an orbit now. I just want to get back a little bit closer to our apoapsis, bring the periapsis up a little bit more, get back a little bit closer, repeat. Okay, that puts me at 65. 500 delta V? That still doesn't sound like enough to get to Minmus and back. I thought you need like mm, in the, the 7,000? 65 is like Order right line. on the mark to get you to the Mun and back. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use those in another in a future rocket design. I don't have time to redesign my rocket around okay. that. I think that's close enough, honestly. And boy, did we have a lot of leftover Delta V. Holy cow. Um, right, so we're going to ditch this stage. And I have an entire, I still have 1,700 Delta V left. Okay, well, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> um, All right, so let's uh, ditch. We, we, I'm, I mean, we might as well ditch this stage too because we don't need it anymore. All right. There's that. We're going to have to remember to... Delete that debris. Um, I did... Okay, so we're going to have to hope that we... Um... Yeah, we're going to have to hope that we don't need... Um... <sighs> We've got 14 days worth. I forgot to put an antenna on this thing. Oh. So, I mean, I could disconnect and go and then when i bring up the next one bring the next one up with an antenna and it, it's not going to turn to debris or anything why is nvidia telling me i have a graphics driver for gta 5 i, mean, I did not acquire gta 5 it doesn't matter oh <laughs> okay um anyways um so i could either leave this guy here and try and bring up the next piece. Um, or I could take him back and bring up the next piece while this one's. St I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna try and bring up the next piece before he dies. Um, okay, so. Uh, we need to uh, rename this. All right. Well, uh, did you I? Gotta, you gotta stop doing that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So this is gonna be. Um, I think I forgot mystery goo, but uh, I don't know. This is gonna be just space colony one. Because I, I'm, I'm not very creative when it comes to these things all right let's uh let's go back to the space center and let's try and launch the next set of stuff here i guess you, you can ironically call it the uh, c lab one <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that'll do it for this episode. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for some more modded Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. Bye.